shortly, we'll be joined by Dave Richard from CBSSports.com. You can check out the only Thursday night pregame show that covers fantasy football, survivor pools, Vegas stuff, and all the other cool football things you're into. That's 6.30 p.m. Eastern time tonight, not only on CBSSports.com, but also through the CBS Sports app, and I believe we have tracked him down. It's Dave Richard, who you can follow on Twitter, at Dave Richard. Hey, Dave. Hey, sorry, guys. How are you? What's no up, buddy? Worries. You sound like a very busy man this morning, Dave. Are you to drive through? I'm all over the place, man. Oh. <laughs> it's crazy. Right, real, but I'm here now. Real quick, before we get to some of these questions, um, our producer, Matt Valdez, wanted to play some audio from back, I think, <laughs> in like preseason week number three, maybe, maybe four. This is what this oh, is. You're oh, you're going to whore him? He's going yeah. way oh, back this. here. Oh. Hear Dave, oh. you mentioned sleepers and our producer, Matt Valdez. I guess he's in a 40 team league because he keeps hyping up. Lorenzo Taliaferro for the Ravens. Does he have any fantasy value whatsoever? He does in a dynasty league, and so maybe that's that's the type of league that he's in. But I, I don't know if Taliaferro is going to end up being a big time player in the Baltimore offense because Pierce was inactive, I believe. Mm-hmm. And he puts up yeah, a yeah, very yeah. nice stat. Good nice one, Valdez. You should call Dave Richard because Dave Richard he was calling you an too. idiot. Yeah. He knows nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, that's so harsh, Valdez. We love Dave, Dave Richard. Dave definitely you know knows that. something. Dave, What's that? you definitely know a lot more than him, but he just wanted to throw that in your face because no. Tal Farrow is having you know, you know decent years. That was my one jab. Hold on. Tal Farrow had a great first half against Cleveland. <laughs> And then in the second half, they figured him out. He scored a touchdown from a yard out. hes I don't think he's taking over in, in Baltimore right now. Maybe he does because Bernard Pierce, he could get hurt again or he could play ineffective. But I'm not hitching my wagon to Lorenzo Tyler. And to be fair right, to we'll, Dave, we'll he did say. We'll play this next week for you, Dave. He did say that he has value as maybe a dynasty guy. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, he just said all right, let me ask you this. Uh, and when we talked to him, Ray Rice was suspended for two weeks. Right. Who's going to come back? All right. Uh, question marks here. D'Angelo Williams, in or out? Uh, I think he's going to play, but I don't know if I love him this week. Um, Vernon Davis, in or out? I think he's going to play, and I do love him this week. Ooh, love him. I thought he was going to be out for a couple weeks, but he's been practicing, right? Yeah, 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 and he's walking without a limp. Like, everything's looking good right now. For good. Him. All right, um, one other question. Matt Ryan or Phillip Rivers? Uh, you know what? I think I have Ryan ranked higher, but it's close because Rivers has Jacksonville at home. That's going to be an easy matchup for him. Right. Ryan's on the road. He's always a little trickier on the road, but the way that he's playing right now, I just can't see sitting him. Dave, my friend Lon from Olney wants to ask <laughs> or wanted me to ask for him whether you liked Kirk Cousins or Matt Ryan. But then Lon checked your rankings. You had Matt Ryan at four and Cousins at 12. Ooh. He figured it all out in the rankings. He's a smart guy. He, that guy yeah, is Ryan, pretty I like intelligent. Ryan better than Cousins. But I, I, listen, I'm impressed with Kirk Cousins, just like you guys are, just like everybody else in Washington is. Uh, I appreciated his ball placement. I think he did a real good job putting the ball where it needed to be for all his, his receivers. The fact that he's got some really good receivers really helps him out a lot. It's a good fit for what Jay Gruden wants in his offense. There's no denying it. Hmm. All right, let's go to the phones. 800-636-1067, talking fantasy football with Dave Richard from CBS Sports. All right, let's go to Tyler in Crofton. Hey, Tyler, you're on with Dave. Hey, guys, how's it going? What's up? What's hey. up? Um, I wanted to see what Dave was thinking about Kelvin Benjamin or Roddy White and also Larry Donnell or Jason Witten. I'd go with White over Benjamin, and I still have Donnell ahead of Witten. They're both low-end starts for me this week. I know Witten's been really disappointing. But I feel like this is a game where Tony Romo's not going to be able to get away with handing off 30 times against the Saints. I, I think you're going to see Romo throw, and I think that means Witten should be involved. And I like Kelvin Benjamin, too, but Roddy White had a week off to rest his hamstring. He should be better this week. Keep in mind, Kelvin Benjamin has not caught a touchdown yet this year from Cam Newton. Both of his scores have come from Derek Anderson. Ooh, that's a good nugget. All right. Thank you, Tyler. Let's go to, let's go to Steve in Temple Hills. Hey, Steve, you're on with Dave Richard. Hey, Dave. Start one out of these three, Hakeem Nix, Devontae Adams, or Ruben Randall. Stand at 12. I'd start one of – yeah, I'd go with Ruben Randall tonight. Mm-hmm. Hakeem Nix was good last week, but we know that T.Y. Hilton uh, got banged up in that game. Hilton's going to play this week. That's going to push Nix off the field for a little while. And Devontae Adams is still making mistakes out there. I don't know if the Packers really trust him yet. So, from the guys you named, I like Ruben Randall the best. Oh, Randall has 67 yards receiving. I this bought year. into the Devontae Adams hype for one week. I think I already cut him. 
Had him right. on the roster for one week. Let him go. Go to Moses in Georgetown. I looked like a genius last week when I started uh, LeGarrette Blunt. I saw 1% of fantasy owners started him. Your boy started him. Now Did I you had, win? You look like a genius because you haven't even touched your lineup. No, no, I didn't make that. T- but I, the, the truth is I started him because I had no other options. Right. <laughs> But he did good for me. He had 100 yards, didn't he? Yeah, silly. And a touchdown. And a touchdown. Touch. Touch. Yeah, touch. yeah. I'm a genius. I'm in the 1%. Uh, Moses. 0-3 oh, genius. I'm 0-3, oh, though. And I, and I have officially quit. Yeah, your team stinks. <laughs> Moses. Yes. Uh, hey, guys. I need to know, uh, what's the outlook on Shane Vereen? Should I start him this week in a PPR, or should I go with Hakeem Nix? I didn't hear who he was starting Shane with Vereen or Hakeem Nix? Uh yeah, I guess it's Shane Vereen. I'm, I, maybe he gets a little bit more involved than he did last week, but I still feel like this is a defense in, in Kansas City that the Patriots can run on. So it speaks to me like it's going to be a Ridley-type game, which means Vereen, he, he's had less than 50 yards two straight weeks. It could be another week like that here. Hey, besides speaking of the uh, Patriots, I guess, is there anybody What's worth that? playing on the Patriots? Brady's been oh, so I mean, disappointing. You yeah, know. he's been. he has been. His offensive line stinks. Edelman and Gronk are really the only two that I feel good about. Ridley, too, I guess. All right, let's go to. Does that answer Kirk your question? Yeah. In is, is there any, anybody worth playing besides Edelman and Gronk? Gronk, yeah. Kirk, you're on with Dave Richard from CBS Sports. What's up? Kirk? Hello? Kirk, that, Kirk? That's you, buddy. No, it's Chris. Chris, and, uh, whatever. Yeah, What's I up? got a question about uh, does Kirk do work or uh, do, uh, do uh, Romo uh, with the Saints? Romo or Cousins? Uh, give me Romo. I know that everybody's excited about Cousins, but we've seen we've seen players who aren't elite strike out on Thursday nights. And you know, as, as much as I like Cousins this week, I've got him twelfth in my rankings. I got Romo a spot higher. We have a Thursday night hex thing that we we have here. I didn't it's realize a, it's a something thing. like that. Yeah, you, you typically see running backs play better on Thursday nights. It's easier for them to recover. Oh my god! And oh. Get this back is why on the all over it. So quarterback. Like a, I could never win in fantasy. Quarterbacks don't have much time to prepare and game plan. Yeah, makes sense. Although, do you, can you rattle off the home versus away on Thursday nights this year? Well, just so far this year, Seahawks 36 to 16 winners at home, Ravens 26 to 6 winners at home, and Falcons, of course, 56 to 14. That's 118 to 36. Drubbings. Home teams just crushing. Both road, races. Road, teams, road teams. Road teams this year on Thursday nights being outscored by almost 90 points. Yeah. All right, JR. Dave Richard. You're on with Dave. <laughs> Yeah, what's good, Dave? I think Dave's uh, having some phone issues. Dave, you there, buddy? I'm here. I got you. Okay, okay. go ahead, JR. Yeah, I need a quarterback, um, Tino Smith or Eli, and the flex spot, I need either uh, Marcel Bennett or Sammy Watkins. Why are we asking questions about Geno Smith? Are we really at that point where <laughs> I got Russell we're, Wilson we're considering? Out, man. He's got Russell Wilson. <laughs> yeah, you, you got you cut Geno Smith, start Eli Manning, find a good – you know what we should go pick up? You should go get Isaiah Crowell off waivers. And put him on his bench instead of Geno Smith, and wait for him to pop in Cleveland. I like it. I like that advice. Geno question. I'm so pro- I forgot his other question. It was a tight end something. Go yeah. with go with Adam Yeah. Let's go to Dave. Dave's Dave. a little bit salty today. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. It was because we grilled yeah. him about Tal Farrell. No. Yeah, thanks, Valdez. Uh, uh, weeds, Valdez. Th- yeah. I agree with him, though. Chino Smith starting question. He That's should ridiculous. never start. He should never start. All right, you know what? I think it's time for the speed round. Got to start getting to him rapid Do fire. It. You All give right. us one of two, two of three. Dave gives. He doesn't even give rationale. He just gives you the pick, and then we move on. Yeah, don't even bother yourself. Don't even concern yourself with rationale. No you just, small talk. No chit chat. You just declare it, Dave. All right, go ahead, Dave. With Dave. <laughs> this is Dave from Fredericksburg. Two out of three. Ben Roethlisberger, Kirk Cousins, and Cam Newton. If you have to start two out of three, is that what he said? Yeah. 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 Cam. Sit cam. Sit cam. Sit cam. There you go. All right. Go to Tay. Speed round. Hey, fellas. Um, two out of three. Uh, Jeremy Macklin, Victor Cruz, or Pierre Garcon? I would actually go with Garcon and, and Sit Cruz. I like all three. All right, let's go to right, Gary. Now there's no more small talk. I was lenient the first two times. You yeah, let him get, get, get right after. You let him get away with it, fellas. Yeah. Yep. Gary, Big softy over here. Speed round. Two of three, Deshaun Jackson, Keenan Allen, or Jeremy Macklin? I would sit Allen. All right. Dave in Stafford. Dave. Matthew Stafford or Bortles? What? Are you serious? Stafford. (laughs) Bortles. Get out of here. You guys say that, and you fantasy geeks will be starting Bortles in two weeks. Okay. okay. If you if you say week. Week. Yeah. I mean, it takes one week, and you guys all jump on the bandwagon. He did throw two touchdowns last week. I'm actually surprised that Dave's not higher on Kirk, to be honest with you. 
Reed. He's got him 12. Top 12 is pretty good. Yeah. It's makes, the Thursday who, night who thing. If yeah. it's a Sunday game, I'd probably be high. Reed, go ahead. Speed who, round. Who makes out better on this trade? D. Thomas and Ellington for Crab. No trade. Score, no trade talks. Oh. It's a speed round. Kings Sorry. Is not you like gotta, trade talk. You got to no. tweet him that. That's a tweet yeah, yeah, question. Tweet, that's tweet worthy. At Dave Richard on uh, Twitter. Rich, you're on with Dave. Speed round. All right, it's not working. Let's go to Pete. Pete, <laughs> speed round. Uh, PPR, Matt Bradshaw, Pierre Thomas. Uh, I didn't hear the first name. Bradshaw. I'm going to go with him over Pierre Thomas. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely Bradshaw. Bradshaw, okay. <laughs> not yeah. a fan of Pierre do, Thomas. Do you think that Dave is enjoying this? No. He's not enjoying it. He wants to go back to Can bed. we just do this? He wants to go to Starbucks. Can we add an element to the speed round? Sure. If Dave declares it's a stupid question, just say stupid, don't even answer. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Can That's you good. add that to your repertoire? Yes, let's yeah. do that. Just right, one word, that. stupid. Just say stupid and don't even answer. I actually think Dave is multitasking today. Are you, Dave? I'm sitting in my Temple's parking lot as we speak. And oh, my okay. wife is waiting for me oh. to run into Temple. Happy Rosh Hashanah. No, oh. I'm all good. Oh, okay. God can wait. God okay. can wait. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I knew that. he had something else going on. I didn't on. know he was Jewish. Dave. Did not realize that. Dave, you're on with Dave. PPR, Charles Clay, Niles Paul. I didn't hear the first Charles one. Clay, Niles Paul. Paul, Paul. Paul, I think that might have been worthy of a stupid. Uh, <laughs> let's go to Ty. Borderline stupid. But you've never heard of Charles Clay. I would have no I, idea how to get Look at where Niles Paul's doing I know, this year. but I'm just saying. Niles Paul's been killing it. Balling. As my son what? says, balling. Go ahead, Ty. What's up, Joe? Hey, what's up? Delaney, Delaney Walker, Owen Daniels, Kirk Cousins, and uh, Nick Foles. I would go Foles and Walker if he plays. All right. Let's go to Ma- and Let's go to Martin. <laughs> Hey, guys, uh, two of three, non-PPR, Deshaun Jackson, Keenan Allen, or T.Y. Hilton. I would sit Hilton. There you go. Let's go to Marshall. Speed round. Marshall. Rogers or Cutler? Rogers. There you go. All right, Drab stopped answering the phones. Dave, happy Rosh Hashanah. Is that <laughs> a happy thing? Much. What is I don't even know what, is, even know what Rosh Jewish Hashanah New is. Year, correct? Jewish New Year. I, I think, think it's so. a happy thing. One of them is not a happy it's one. It's not Yom Kippur. That's our, I think that's like Day of Atonement. Yeah. I could be yeah, wrong. I, 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 know I barely know the difference. I barely know the difference. <laughs> so My how, wife drags me here. <laughs> how long will you be at Temple? Uh, less than an hour. I got a show to do at noon. Very gotcha. nice. Yeah, you got to pay the bills. All right. All right. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. You got it, guys. Have a good one. All right. It's Dave Richard from CBS Sports. That's hilarious. Sitting out in front of Temple. <laughs> is that what they there. say? They, te- they don't say the temple. They say temple. They say temple. So it- They're going to temple. So it's like they don't going- say no, going- I would say I'm sitting outside church. I wouldn't say I'm sitting outside the church. Yeah. I, was, I would say right, I'm sitting right, outside so church. Similar, Temple's similar. probably an underdog this week. I don't even know who they're playing. I'm playing they're, UConn. They're UConn. <laughs> I think UConn's they're favorite. Poo-poo. Oh, they're, they're favorite, favorite on the road? I think so. Look at that. He's outside Lincoln Financial. Yeah. I think they're giving six. Him and Pitesy. Put this way, I'd rather go to the Temple UConn game. Oh, of course you would. All right, joining us next to give us some uh, perspective on the New York Giants. Guy who won a Super Bowl with them. Seven years as a Giants analyst now for the MSG Network. It's Roman Oban on the fan. Bruce.